Hi guys, this is Network Ninja here. Welcome back to yet another video. Today we are going to see how to configure a mobile VLAN on Alcatel and Lucent switch. Generally, we use mobile VLAN when we want to use dynamic VLAN assignment. What is dynamic VLAN assignment? Dynamic VLAN assignment is assigning a VLAN to a port dynamically without user intervention. Dynamic VLAN assignments of a mobile port occurs without user intervention when mobile port traffic matches the VLAN criteria. To achieve this on Alcatel and Lucent switch, we have to configure a port as a mobile port. Let's dive into switch command line to take a look at it. In this example, I am going to use port mobile to dynamically assign a VLAN to all the phones. I have already powered on the switch and I am going to log in with the default username and password admin switch. We will verify the switch model using command show system. As you can see, we have Alcatel Lucent OS 6250P24 switch here. This switch already has some configuration on it. As you can see, I have two interfaces, voice and data. We can configure an IP interface using command IP interface, the name of the interface and the address you want to give it to the interface with the subnet mask and VLAN ID. In this example, VLAN 1 is the data VLAN and VLAN 2 is the voice VLAN. In this example, I am going to use the same switch as the DSCP server for my both VLANs, VLAN 1 and VLAN 2. You can use any available DSCP server on your network. This is the DSCP configuration for my both VLANs. Uh, as you can see, my VLAN 2 subnet is 192.168.200.0 with a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. If you want to know how to configure a DSCP server on Alcatel Lucent switch, I have made another video. I will link that in the i button. We will verify if VLAN 2 is assigned to any ports using command show VLAN 2 port. As you can see, there is no port assigned to VLAN 2. In this case, we are going to configure VLAN 2 as a mobile VLAN. To do so, we have to configure a VLAN criteria. Here, we are going to use MAC address range as a VLAN criteria. For that, I am going to enter the command VLAN 2 MAC range. And I have the MAC range here for the phone I am going to use for testing. To configure a port as a VLAN port, we have to use command VLAN port mobile and the port number. In this case, I am going to configure all my ports as a mobile port. You have to keep in mind, when you configure a mobile port, you cannot use standard VLAN tagging 802.1Q. So you should skip all the uplinks from the mobile port configuration. This completes port mobile configuration. Now I am going to connect my phone to port 1 on the switch. As you can see, the switch has dynamically assigned VLAN 2 to the port and the type is mobile. And this is the MAC address of the phone and it is from the range that we have assigned to the VLAN criteria. We are also going to check what VLANs we are seeing on the port using command show VLAN port 1 slash 1. As you can see, there are two VLANs, VLAN 1 which is a default VLAN and VLAN 2 which is a dynamically assigned VLAN. Advantage of using mobile port as you can use the same port for data and voice. So in this case, my phone has a PC port on the back side of it. I'm going to connect my laptop to that port. My laptop should get an IP address from the data VLAN. As expected, my laptop got an IP address of 192.168.100.51 which is from the data VLAN subnet. Similarly, my phone got an IP address of 192.168.200.50 which is the phone subnet. You can also check the MAC addresses on the port 1 slash 1 using command show MAC address table 1 slash 1. As you can see, we are learning two MAC addresses from the same port. One belongs to the laptop on VLAN 1 and the other belongs to the phone on VLAN 2. 
This is how you configure a dynamic VLAN assignment using mobile port on Alcatel Lucent switch. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I will see you in the next one.